Why did he hit? Why did he hit? I don't understand anything in this country. Namaskar! Welcome to Calcutta, a truly big Indian city. Let's just get right into this. So what I'm now walking across right now is the Howrah Bridge. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. There's just this massive migration of people going across the bridge, bringing goods, wares, that I guess they're gonna sell. All right, so we're going down now into what is supposed to be a huge flower market. I have not bought flowers for a woman in a very long time. But maybe we can buy flowers for something else. Or just walk through this market. Let's go. I'm seeing like these long yellow and orange like strings of flowers. What is this for? Is it for tempo? Tempo, okay, not for woman. Not for girlfriend. Oh, okay. America. Very nice country. Nice to meet you. Two? How much? Oh my god. Alright, well that was very nice. The man just gave me some free flowers. If I end up at a temple later, maybe I can drop these off. How you doing? Hey, these are nice roses. Five hundred rupees. Twenty-five piece. Five hundred rupees. I can buy for my wife. Okay, but I don't have wife. I feel like if you have claustrophobia, this place is gonna give you a panic attack. Oh, wow, very beautiful. Yeah, here. Is it for for temple? Or for temple? For both. Hello sir, how much? One? Thank you, thank you. Indians not letting me pay for anything. And I'll have a rose as well. I'm ready to go to both the temple and go on a date. Do they have like pickpockets in India? I feel like this would be pickpocketing central if it worked. The main Raja. Raja. Raja in this time. Are you very strong in carrying that on your head? Okay, let's uh let's get out of the flower market for a minute. Let's take a breather. <laughs> that was exhausting. There are trains that go through here? Train, train, okay, okay. There's so much garbage. Garbage. Yeah, local, local, local. Dirtiest train track I've ever seen. Can I ask which, which one is. What is the name? Jai Sira, Jai Sira. That, that is Shiva? Which one is this? Are you going to ask me? What, this one? Ah. Is this also Shiva? I can't see them. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go to it. Thank you. I'm going to ask you that. Learning. Hinduism for me is. Still the most confusing language. Uh, sorry, the most confusing religion to understand. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, sir. Where are you going? This would be the infamous Indian traffic I've heard so much about. It's all good. We've been to Africa. Oh yeah, we're from here. Okay. Okay, I I follow you. Uh, yeah, we go. Okay. 
Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. One of the only things I know how to say in Hindi. Huh? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Smoke it. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Namaskar. 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 I'm not smoking. Well, I smoke something. Not cigarette. I don't understand anything in this country. I love that that's the default way of crossing the street. I don't know what my man is smoking right here, but he's having a good time. I <laughs> Take it, Danyavad. I go this way. Yeah. Danyavad, Danyavad. You have a nice day. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure you could claim India to be the biggest culture shock in the entire world. It's the combination of a different culture, different people, different religion, different everything. I feel like I'm in a video game right now. There's a very special place here in Calcutta. It has a very special name. It's called Dum Dum. Not many cities have a place called Dum Dum. Which would make it officially the dumbest place in India. I have no idea what they have in Dum Dum. Don't think anyone else has gone there. Which is amazing because almost everyone on YouTube has been to India. Let's go check out the Dum Dum neighborhood of Calcutta and try not to get run over as we're doing it. Apparently in the district of Dum Dum, there is a place called the Lake Town Clock Tower. And uh, I don't know if people are just submitting whatever images onto Google Maps here, but it looks like Big Ben in London. That seems kind of cool. Let's go check that out. Yeah. The whole transportation situation here seems a little bit confusing. Don't know how I'm gonna work this out, but let's figure it out. Excuse me, sir. I want to go to South Dum Dum District. Which bus goes there? Maybe I take taxis. Oh, you have people. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Namaskar. I can? Okay. Okay. Okay, we go. <laughs> oh, too much traffic here. All right. Got a ride in a very old school Indian taxi here. And we're on our way to Dum Dum. Yes, hello. Your country, sir? America. America? Yes, USA. USA good? Yes. Good, good, good. good. Okay, good. American people very... <laughs> gentlemen. I would say Indian people are very gentlemen. You are Bengali? No. No, not Bengali. My motherland is the UP. UP. Okay. Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Jogi Adityanath. Oh yes. Many people there. <laughs> that said, mass marriage ceremony. What does that mean? Okay. Does that mean like thousands of people get married at the same time? Okay, my driver has just stopped in the middle of the highway to go take a piss. I think this is peak India right here. You all good? TK? Okay. Okay. Done your Bye bye. Uh, apparently, you can't see it from here, but the clock tower I looked up is right over there. Yes, what? I just wanted to share to you if I see you here in the town. Okay. We are sound healer by our profession and 
यहाँ पर यूनिट इज इन अपोजिट टू डी डी कैटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस और यू ट्रीट योर सेल्फ जस्ट कम एंड है यू नो द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दैट वट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अ साउंड हीलिंग साउंड What what even was that? That she's thrown in something like a sound healing. I have no idea. Should I try the Indian street food? I got to try the Indian street. Food. But not yet. Let me mentally prepare myself. I like your restaurant. Man. Delicious pizza, pizza hut. Is no, it the no, real one? No, no, looks like. No, it looks very similar. Yes. <laughs> that was uh, pretty uh, blatant copyright infringement right there. But hey, Domino's, go easy on them. These are the kind of things you find out here in the Dum Dum District. Hello. Do you know? An interesting place to go in this district, Dum Dum District. Interesting place. Yeah, you understand? Interesting place. You take me. Okay, ticket. Okay. Kid ne kya hai? How much? I. I'm not completely sure. Has he understood what I said? And I have no idea where we're going. I also have no idea how much this is gonna cost, but. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, okay. Oh, you took me to the train station. Okay. Uh, how much? Maybe one. He has dropped me off in uh, what looks like a train station. Ah, okay. He thought I wanted to go to the Dum Dum train station. Well, we just got here. We can't leave already. We'll come back to this. Alright. Maybe we can go and find a temple so I can drop off these flowers I got at the flower market. are very polite. Okay, so we're going deeper into the Dum Dum neighborhood. Uh, I hope this isn't like the hood or something. Dum Dum hood. Usually in America, when you run into Dum Dums, you might be in a dangerous area. <laughs> Many Indian flags. Apparently, India's version of like Independence Day is coming up in a couple of days. So I would explain that. Interestingly though, when I was up in Sikkim, I almost never saw the Indian flag. I would see like their local flag, and that's it. Of course, this region has its own separate history. This used to be the Kingdom of Bengal. And if you look on the map, it's still called West Bengal today. Except all of the half of it split off, became the country of Bangladesh. I mean, you really have to get into the history of India to find out why that happened. But basically, West Bengal, majority Hindu, Bangladesh, majority Muslim. Oh. It's like a dog gangbang over there. Here's a temple. Excuse me, sir. What kind of temple is this? I have flower. I, I could put? Yeah, at this end. Yeah. I, I could put here? <laughs> I don't I don't know. English, yes. I have a flower. Can I put it here? 
Uh, you can put it. Uh, I can put it. It's okay. Uh, outside. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Flower placed. I like these cool colorful houses that you see all over the neighborhood. They each have little markings, pictures I should say, of Shiva. Not much fun. I'm seeing a lot of communist symbols around this neighborhood. Oh, Communist Party of India. Okay. Where are you from? America. But it's okay, you can be communist. Have they won? Are they the winners? Did they win the election? No, no. No? They lost. They lost. Okay. Just like in the world. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Why, why that boat? What happened to the boat? Uh, water tank. It's broken? Uh, the boat? Uh, boat. It's broken? Sawar, sawar. 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 It went to heaven? Uh, sawar. Okay, take it. Just wonder why there's a boat right out there in the middle of the pond there. Slash bath. I'm still fairly ignorant on Indian culture. Forgive me. I'm saying something stupid here. Living? I'm traveling. Traveling. Traveling, yes, Traveling. yes. Traveling? Yes, yes. Oh. You are you're from Kolkata. Bengali is all the way in India, Bengali. Then. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are a Bengali person? Bengali person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. How do you say thank you in Bengali? Bengali. It's old people Bengali. In, in Bengali language, how do I say how do I say thank you? All in Bengali. Either. Like Bengali. Dhanyavad. 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 Oh, like Hindi. Dhanyavad. Okay. Dhanyavad. We have construction happening here in Dum Dum. Indian construction labor has actually become one of the biggest exports of the country. The people building all these structures in India and in Dubai and in Qatar, they're certainly not Dum Dums. I'm amazed by the bravery. Getting on top of skyscrapers. All for not that much pay. There's another dog gang battle down there. Ah. It is starting to rain here in Dum Dum. Okay, so it's starting to rain pretty hard. And also because I forgot to bring another memory card and I'm almost out. Because I'm the biggest Dum Dum of them all. Let's get out of Dum Dum for now. Let's go catch that train I saw before. And uh, maybe we can come back here later. There's still plenty of other things to do here in Calcutta. The former capital of the British Raj. The first university of India. Very important place. I just want to take the train to go south. South where? To like Raj Bazaar around there. Metro. What? Are you trying to evade the metro or I'm metro? not trying to evade anything, I just want to take the train. Where? What? Where? Where? To... I don't know, just the... I want to go south. The last station. Which, which is? How much? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Danyabad. I actually don't know where I'm going. I just know that I wanted to take the train south. <laughs> I forgot that uh, Indian trains are kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to sit down. Okay, I'm 
pretty sure we just arrived at the last stop. Okay. That was slightly intimidating at first, but nothing we couldn't handle. There are just mounds of people anywhere you go in the city. I am not completely sure where I am in the city at the moment. All I know is uh, I'm getting pretty hungry. I haven't had breakfast. Let's go find some food. So that total train ride, the entire thing, just cost seven cents. It really helps put things into perspective when you think, I took that taxi and that cost like five or six dollars. And that would probably be considered like semi-expensive out here. But then you could just take that train. It costs seven cents. That's like the price threshold out here. Or else they have some kind of communist thing going on like Argentina, where <laughs> the metro isn't costing what it's supposed to be. Here is a missing man. If any of you have seen this man, here is the information to contact. I have been told the most famous food, the most famous food in this city is called biryani. I think I had that in Mombasa in Kenya once. I think people commented at the time that wasn't the real thing, so let's go see how they really do it out here. Rice, but it's not fried rice. Better than the one in Kenya. My God. I think I'm walking on the wrong side of the road. I want to go back to Dum Dum. Don't worry, mountains of people in Dum Dum. Ah, yes. There's too many people. Too many people. Just hope my stomach uh, survives that. Ooh. What massage? Australia, phone card here. Thailand massage? Yeah, massage is correct. Massage. Okay. Maybe later. Ah. Okay. I found who to give my rose to. Oh God, India. Hello. How are you? Yes. How are you doing? Very nice to meet you. Yes. What's your name? Bhag Toto San. Bhag Toto San. My, My name, name is Tommy. Bhag yes. Okay. okay. I'm walking. You have a nice day. Yeah. The lovely guest house. Is that where the massages are taking place? Unfortunately, we're not going to find out. According to Wikipedia, this is the largest monument dedicated to a monarch anywhere in the world. Can you guess which monarch that was? Queen Victoria of England. Kind of crazy that it's still standing here. Throughout most of modern history, India was broken up into different states. They acted like different countries. And it was only under rare times, like under the Mughal Empire, which can be traced back to Genghis Khan, by the way. <laughs> and the British Empire, that India was united into a single state. 
The first time the British came to India and began to exert control was through the British East India Company. And they ruled India indirectly. I mean, you can hear it just in the name. The British East India Company. They were mainly interested in profits, but they had their own army and everything. Later, in the 1800s, their rule was consolidated under the British government. That was called the British Raj. That was closer to the modern India that you have today. Obviously, with the help of national heroes like Gandhi, India eventually prevailed against the British and became an independent nation. But it is absolutely incredible and mind-blowing to think about how much impact the British had, not just on India, but the entire world. Thanks to their indentured labor program, I've met people of Indian descent in Kenya, Tanzania, Guyana, Suriname, all around the world. Just handing out selfies out here. Start charging. <laughs> What a country this is. Calcutta is a city famed for its educational prowess. And another thing I just learned from Google is that apparently this is the city that has produced the most Nobel Prize winners of anywhere in India, which sounds very significant. In other words, this is definitely not a city of dum dums. All right. I'm back in the area of Dum Dum, and that's because the airport of Calcutta is actually in Dum Dum. In fact, the name of this airport used to be the Dum Dum Airport, and uh, they mysteriously changed it for some reason. While we're here, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Here in the airport, if you're waiting for your flight, you can go to the retiring room. basically like a dormitory. Uh, you drop a little bit of money, and then you have a place to stay for however long you're in the airport. I just don't know why it's called retiring from. Indian English. So about $8 gets you one of these beds in this, how many beds is this? I think it's a 10, 10 bed dorm room. I, honestly, Especially since there's almost nobody here. It's not a bad deal. I would happily retire here all night. 